Hey everybody, interview tonight. This person here needs no introduction to my longtime subscribers. New subscribers, this person, uh, Dendal Hoyt, she's been singing on my channel for about three years now. And it's been a privilege to follow the progress of her career and her personal life over the last few years. Dendal, why don't you just tell everybody what the big news is as far as yesterday. We are uploading this on Saturday. Big news Friday. Um, so just released a new video. It's called Come To Me. Um, it's been a kind of a passion project for a long time. I wrote this song several years ago, um, but it really uh, took on a whole new meaning when I met my wife. And um, this song was always about finding the person who really uh, brings out the best in you and accepts you for you know everything you are. And um, the song is a celebration of, of, of love in all its forms. And um, we really set out to make a video that showcased um, what love looks like. And I'm pretty proud of it. I think we accomplished just that. Um, it does star my lovely wife. And um, it's really just focused on the fact that no matter who you are and who you love, every type of love is accepted and valued. And um, so, yeah, so it just dropped on Friday. You can get the single on Spotify, iTunes, Amazon, all of that, um, as well as uh, links on my website and social media pages. And the link will be left below on this video too, Perfect. of course. Now, all this started with your wife about you got married in May of yes. this year. We got married in May, um, engaged last year, November. Um, and uh, this is her favorite song. And when I met her, the song, like I said, it took on like this real new meaning because when I, sorry, this real new meaning because when I wrote the song, I was looking for that love. And then when I found her, the song finally made sense. So it, um, it, was, it was better to wait to record it um, and film the video until now because now it, it's it's like this whole package and it's this whole story versus just a love song about somebody trying to find that thing. Okay, and now this all started, now you got married in May of this year, uh -huh. but this really all started in May of 2017. Yes. So do you want to fill the people in on that sure. story? Sure, sure. So um, it's really the story of how I met my wife um, a few days before May 18th. The um, my home was broken into and they stole all of my music equipment, um, my personal information, my purse, clothing, everything that they could find and put it all in my car and drove it all away. And a few days later, my um, now wife was the police officer who called me saying that, hey, we found your things. So it was a terrible experience that turned really positive in just a few days. And sometimes the uh, universe can get even with you in Absolutely. strange ways. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, I remember that night, and that is one of the nights, uh, maybe a, two nights after that happened, uh -huh. you were performing at the link, yep. and I walked up and you were unpacking your speaker yep. just to perform. My new speaker. <laughs> and you said all you had been doing for the previous two days had been filling out paperwork. Yep. And then you went on to perform just beautifully, I thought. Yeah, and the show I, must go on. So I knew that you had other things on your mind and your life had been pretty much turned upside down, but yep. you went out and just performed beautifully and were Thank super you. nice to the people. And I just earned so much respect for you that night. And I just I just remember wanting to do anything I could for you. Thank you. And I know that good friends are really needed in those times and sure. I know good friends helped you out from the minutes after yep, that absolutely. incident happened. Absolutely. Yes. Mm -hmm previous video where I come from a lot of my subscribers watch that video and love that video was it directed by was your new video directed by the same person yes uh, Kurt Tossie is a good friend of mine um, actually was in my wedding party and uh, he directed the, the where I come from video and then I also asked him to direct the come to me video as well and for this video we actually have a really cool partner um, it's free to love it's a nonprofit that I've been involved with for years and um, they were really excited about my passion project, so they said, hey, this is something we'd really like to be a part of. So they've been the official sponsor um, of this video. So actually, it's going to be uploaded on their channel. Um, all the links will be on, on my page, but the actual video will be, um, you'll be getting it directly from them. Okay, and I know you've been a spokesman for Free to Love ever since you've been on The Voice, yes. is that correct? Yep. 
Absolutely. And just, just what is their whole uh, purpose behind their organization? So, yes, I've been a spokesperson for Free to Love since I was on The Voice, um, or just, just off The Voice. Um, they are a anti-bullying organization. Um, they really have a focus on the LGBTQ community um, that gives the, um, the members of our family um, a safe haven basically and uh, they give lots of support and lots of love to you know basically especially for teenagers and, and middle schoolers to let them know that who they are is, is perfectly fine and they're accepted and then they have this organization that loves them and reaches out to them and gives them the, the hope and the love that they may not be getting at home or at school um, so this organization is they're brilliant and um, I'm very proud to be a part of them okay now after living here for Mosquito. After living here for about uh, five years now, yes. Have you acclimated to the Las Vegas summers after growing up in Western New York? Yes. Um, I love the heat. I hate the cold. So, 115 degrees doesn't bother me as much as most people. <laughs> yes, I feel the same way growing mm -hmm. up in Minnesota, and I know they're expecting like a blizzard this weekend. Already? It's October. That makes the winters so long. Oh my goodness, it's yes. awful. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't live back in the snow. Maybe have like a, a vacation home where I visit the snow for a, a week. <laughs> right, right. Maybe around Christmas. Maybe around Christmas. Yeah. That's about it. That's I'm good with it. Now performing in Vegas, uh -huh. I imagine it's pretty unique. You meet a lot of very interesting people from all yep. over the world. It's a very transient town, so you meet a lot of tourists, a lot of people coming and going, and um, so. It, you know, it, it's fun. You get to uh, experience a lot of different cultures and a lot of different mindsets, and um, I think it kind of broadens your your views on things with sure, all the sure. people that cross your paths. Now, you were on The Voice five years ago? It's been a while, yes. Yes. <laughs> now, um, talking to you and Callie and Ryan, who mm -hmm. were on The Voice with you, it seems like you guys are super proud of that, but kind of don't want to make that the the sole thing that you're yeah, known for? I, mean, I, I think that it's, um, you know, it, it, it was a highlight in her career, but it's not who we are. We're exactly. not just the voice. Yeah. And I think that, you know, being on a reality TV show, sometimes that's hard to break. You know, mm -hmm. people, they just want to talk about the voice. They just want to see you as that person on the TV show. And it's, I, I mean, as an artist, you're always evolving, changing, growing. I am not the same artist by any means that I was when I was being filmed, you know? So I think that as much as it was a stepping stone and it was a very cool experience, and yes, we're all very proud of it, we're all different artists yes. now, and we want to focus on where we're going and not so much of where we've been. Right, and I imagine uh, pretty strong friendships were made on that show. The, the camaraderie is amazing, so Callie was also at my wedding. <laughs> right, and I know uh, Callie and you and Ryan are good friends, but uh -huh. don't see each other nearly as much because you're no, always, always performing. Working, so, yeah. yeah. All right. So now, at this point in your career, mm -hmm. Where, uh, or how would you classify yourself as a musician? Um, I would say that I'm a singer-songwriter. I'm not just one thing. You know, um, I do country, I do blues, I do rock. Um, this song's actually uh, labeled as a pop song. Um, and, uh, and also singer-songwriter. So I, uh, I think it's important for me at this point, while I'm still evolving and still growing, to just, you know, focus on the fact that I'm trying to make good music and not really be put into a tiny little box. Um, so many artists are, you know, being as versatile as, as the world will let them be, and I'm, I'm hoping that I'm able to follow that path. Right, now, you are a homeowner now. I am. How do you enjoy we that? We are. We are, yes. How do you enjoy that? Um, you know, it's had its challenges. Um, we, uh, we made smart decisions by getting a home warranty and et cetera, et cetera, but uh, we've already had a, a water heater go out, some leaky faucets, um, shower valve problem and um, uh, do you prefer to tackle those yourself no no absolutely not <laughs> so um, we have a wonderful plumber um, and uh, we've had some palm tree issues I had a uh, one of the spikes go through a vein I blew a vein out so we we stopped that project and hired somebody to do that too very good very but good. it's great it's great to own a home it's you know it's it's a uh, just one of those life challenges that you power through. So 2019 has been uh, quite the year for you? It's been quite the year. 
and uh, your new song. I will leave all the links below. Thank you. And do you have any messages for anybody out there who might kind of feel uncomfortable about as far as who they really are and coming out as far as that? Sure. Um, I think that, you know, it's, it's most important to be your truest self. And I, I know for me that when I accepted who I was and came out openly, it was the most freeing experience for me. And um, like Ellen DeGeneres said, side effects may be losing family members, losing friends, losing your job. I am very grateful. I never lost my job. I lost very, very few friends. Um, family's been an, an interesting transition, but for the most part, I've had nothing but support, nothing but love. So for anybody who feels that they have to be ashamed or remain in the closet, I would, I would say that, you know, it, it's, you have to do everything in, in, in the time that makes you most comfortable, but it was really the most amazing experience for me. And I couldn't be, couldn't be happier and more fulfilled, um, in, in my life right now. So yeah. And, I can and see, good luck. <laughs> and I can see that. Thank you. Kendall really needs to get back to performing here tonight. <laughs> so I will leave all the links that we have talked about below. And you, young lady, have a very nice night. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I'm just thrilled that you're on my channel singing. And it's <laughs> been a joy getting to know you. Hi, everyone. Bye, everyone. <laughs>